Welcome to Jackalers Pickups. Alright, once again, terribly sorry for that intro. Uh, just gonna show some more things that I picked up over the week. Uh, most of these came from uh, all over the place. No pawn stops. I uh, started out the week by finding this nice Game Boy Color case. There's where the Game Boy Color would go. I uh, got a nice flap in there, little uh, elastic to hold the bands, zipper pocket. And then it opens up underneath there, and there's a little pouch for, I don't know what, I would guess instructions that no one ever kept. Uh, and then, lo and behold, I went to another store and found a Game Boy Advance case. I uh, picked these both up for about a buck. I'm going to clean them up and probably just put them on my wall, uh, throw a little bit of styrofoam in them. But they've got, you know, uh, pockets, zippers the same thing and if you notice they look exactly alike except for a few minor cosmetic defects the Game Boy Advance does seem a lot sturdier but that's just me um, uh, the next thing I picked up was uh, Rayman now uh, my son is a fanatic about Rayman raving rabbits so I decided to pick this up to kind of show him where it all started not where it started, but, you know, the Rayman. Uh, I also picked up... Uh, Duke Nukem. Now, this was a game... I played this game on PC, and I'd never played it on the PlayStation, and I've kind of played it now, and it's kind of... kind of garbage. But, eh. Uh, it's... it's in the collection now, so it makes me happy. The next place I went to was a place that I usually avoid because they're usually overpriced. But I found this empty, kind of blank looking case, and all CDs there are 99 cents. So I opened the first one and I see, whoa, Resident Evil 2, very nice. Disc 1, alright, so I flip it over, I look and I say, okay, disc 2, very good. At this point I am trying not to jump for joy. And then I noticed that there are these two funny little discs in there. Now, I vaguely remember these. They came from Pizza Hut. And they are demo discs. Now, the funny thing is, is as I started looking at these, there are two of them, is that they used to give us demos when we ordered pizza. And now, we have to sign up for the online special super plan in order to get the demos. And, of course, there is my Jurassic Junkie moment of the week. Uh, taken after you, one of my idols. <laughs> Alright, let me put these away before I... Uh... Anyways, so that's that. Um, next thing is... Da -da -da -da. The Blob Light by Nyko. It was in the same spot as the other one was. And I just couldn't help it. It looked really freaky, and I couldn't figure out what the heck was going on. That's where the light is. You attach that little thing into the side of the uh, Game Boy Color or Game Boy Pocket. I'll, I've got a video that I'm going to put up later on this, you know, for use with Game Boy Color, Game Boy, and Game Boy Pocket, which is why I got it. Because originally I only read the Game Boy Color. Uh, white light, blah blah blah. Paid two bucks for it was still in the package. It is not now, however. A little, little bit of time travel there for you folks who are waiting for a video yet to come. This was my real find of the week. I was wandering around and found this. Paid a buck ninety-eight for it. Uh, it's the Namco PlayStation arcade stick. It's in Decent condition. Unfortunately, I don't have a PS1 or PS2 at the moment to hook it up to see if it actually works. Uh, it's fairly heavy, which I was kind of surprised with, because originally I uh, I was expecting it to have the weight of kind of a NES Advantage. But um, thanks to uh, Snowcon Three. 
I, in his retrospective on Killer Instinct, I had to go and find this thing just so I could play it once more. Um, I don't have a, a good arcade stick for my Super Nintendo, so I played it for a little while, uh, got my butt kicked, and moved on. The other thing that I had to pick up, and this is Off-World Interceptor Extreme. Now, I love this game because this is one of uh, the games that I played over at a friend's cousin's house and just blew me away with the humor, and I actually liked it. I found another few YouTubers that don't. It's made by Crystal Dynamics, so I'm probably a little biased because I love almost everything else that I've touched that they've made. Legacy of Kane is probably still my favorite game series of all time, topping even Zelda. Um, there's a blockbuster near my house, and they're going out of business. So I walk in there, and they've got these. Call of Duty Black Ops, Spider-Man, Shattered Dimensions. And these are the little cards that they kind of put up when the, the videos are out to rent, and they were 20 for a dollar. So I picked up just anything that I thought that would look cool, that I might like. Connectimals is a, a inside joke with a, a few people I hang out with. Uh, Tangled, my son loved, so he got, he got his. Scott Pilgrim, one of my favorite movies in the past decade, probably and more and more and more and more you get the idea but I got some duplicates because I think I might uh, give some away to friends yeah just I mean they were 20 for a dollar so I couldn't pass it up if you ever see a place like that going out of business run in there and just ask them all kinds of questions like oh is that for sale Ooh, is that for sale and odds are eventually somebody's going to go, well, no, but, you know, let's talk to the manager tomorrow. Uh, the other fun thing that they were selling um, were the cases. They were selling the games, too, but the games didn't really have, I mean, they didn't have really the great deals. I mean, Blockbuster going out of business, GameStop's got to be. So I bought some of the pre-order cases. Uh, Batman Arkham City... Crisis 2, and they just look cool. They're cases. If I get tired of the little placard for the pre order thing, I can throw them out and end up actually using them as cases. Uh, the last one that I picked up was kind of neat in that I didn't realize it at the time, but it's a UMD case. Now, I don't have a PSP anymore. I've had three of them and I just get tired of them. But the rest of them are the standard Blockbuster cases, you know, tagged with Blockbuster forever, but, you know, so be it. If I need a replacement, it's there. And that's all I got. I believe. Oh, oh, oh. A weird little thing that I picked up. I uh, was in Toys R Us and picked up the G.I. Joe little tiny action figures. And there's Scarlet and a uh, little Cobra guy. And they, uh, they now sit up on my shelf guarding my uh, video games. Uh, anyways, sidetrack. Uh... Take care. Bye.